several streets are blocked off after a man climbed a crane near MLK in Ankeny, and right now police are just trying to get that guy down. KGW's Mike Banner is there live for us. And Mike, can you kind of walk us through what's going on there? Well, uh, this man is in some sort of crisis and out of respect for him and what he is going through. We're not showing you pictures or video of him, but needless to say, this is a very serious situation. This crane that is part of uh, the construction of a building between Ankeny and Burnside sits about 300 uh, feet in the air. And we understand uh, just before two o'clock this afternoon, this man in crisis uh, somehow uh, got on to the equipment and climbed to the very top. We understand that uh, there was a crane operator at the top when this happened. Uh, that person cut power to the crane and then hurried down. And uh, this man in crisis, we're told, has been at the top ever since. Uh, we understand, or, or we know, just by being here on scene the last hour or so, that uh, crisis negotiators are here. Uh, they know who this man is. They've been in touch with his family, and they've been talking to him using loudspeakers. It appears he, uh, he understands them and can hear them. Uh, there's also several first responders, maybe up to a half dozen, that have climbed to the top as as well, uh, but I have noticed within the last uh, 20 to 30 minutes or so that this uh, rescue, uh, the attempt to talk this man down, has stalled out a bit. Uh, it appears that he may have used some sort of a board or a piece of equipment to block the path of officers who are trying to reach him. So again, uh, a very uh, you know scary situation out here. Again, this crane in southeast Portland between Ankeny and Burnside uh, around southeast Third is about 300 feet in the air, and right. Now that is where uh, this man is. We've been on scene for the last hour or so. We'll stay out here uh, to see how this uh, all unfolds. But for now, let's send it back to you in the studio.